So I come out here to film and to get pictures of a new project I'm doing. And <laughs> as soon as I pull in, there's a guy weed whacking the weeds or grass or whatever you want to call it on the side of this hill. Perfect timing. There's not a lot here, so hopefully he'll be done quick. All right, so I just got out of the van. You can clearly hear it here. I'm still weed eating. And of course, the second I get out of the van, it starts to rain down here. Great, absolutely great. I love it. Um, it happens. That's that's part of this business. I like to come here to sit and just unwind. The tractor. What the hell? What are they doing? Are you kidding me? This is not going to be fun today. If this is how it's going to be all day, this is really going to suck. It's ruining the footage I'm taking up the creek right now. You're not kidding me, man. This is horrible. Come on, man. Seriously. He's moving one pile of dirt to another in the middle of the woods. Bro. Seriously. He's had to do it today. He just spent the whole time spreading this pile out. And now he's picking it back up and putting it back in the pile. I, is he just wasting time on a Friday? Like, I mean, look at him. He's spreading it. And then he's picking it back up. Hey, everyone. So I am here at Memorial Creek, by far one of my favorite places to come and sit. Um, you know, it's, it's far enough. Uh, out of town um, but as you'll see town still shows up wherever you are right by the guys working weed eating the tractor and all that <clears throat> it's kind of annoying but it does happen Ooh, mosquito <laughs> I'm going to be working on a long form uh, video it's gonna take me you know, at least probably a couple months um, but I I listen to music when I sleep a lot of times, it'll be jazz or, you know, lo-fi kind of music, um, quiet, nature sounding, that sort of thing, and I want to make my own video of that, so with all of the nature walking and um, being on nature that we do, it's very easy for me to do that um, in certain places. This is by far one of the quietest, most natural places that I know of. Um, but essentially I want to stitch together all the clips and videos that I get um, for the next little while. And probably some of the ones in the past, maybe if I can figure out a way uh, to get some of those off off of um, Instagram and all that. The camera's up there right now in one of my favorite spots of the creek filming. Uh, I just want to come down here where it's a little quieter so you guys can actually uh, hear me and I don't have to whisper and all that. And the camera up there won't... Uh, won't mess it up so yeah if you guys uh, are interested in seeing it or um, you know have thoughts about it maybe there's something I can get a shot of that you guys want to see uh, don't be afraid to you know first off like comment subscribe but comment essentially what you want to see in this video you know nature video the best I can obviously I'm not gonna go driving out to the ocean or something crazy like that and if, if you guys listen to music at all when you're sleeping or you're meditating or anything like that definitely let me know what do you listen to um, a lot of people like to listen to jazz I listen to a lot of jazz um, and nature sounds you know thunderstorms things like that, that that are always fun I'm sure I'll put at least one or two thunderstorms in the video um, if I can capture it over the next I don't know however long it takes for me to get it um, I know some people listen to lo-fi hip-hop I like to do that if uh, if I'm working on a project or whatever. I'm excited about this project. I have been wanting to do it for a while. And I think it's, it's definitely going to be challenging. Um, however, it's, it's going to be nice because I'll have something, you know, I can sleep to or some something I can watch, you know, meditate uh, in the times of year when I can't come out here. Because uh, in the winter time, it's way too cold. <laughs> And the water is pretty darn cold today, um, you know, especially with it only being like 65, 70 degrees out here. Um, 
but yeah. It, feel, it feels good. I'll, I'll get it on my feet. I just, I'm not getting all the way in. Let me just give you an example of some of the stuff I'm going to be filming in this video. It's things like this, where it's natural flowing water. Just the sounds of it. You can hear the birds. And the bees. Because <laughs> it is spring, you know. That's how we go. Anyway, not getting into that, but... It is super, super pretty. Like this right here. I'll probably get another shot of this if I don't have it already. So, it's things like that. Um, and like I said, I'll probably get a thunderstorm or two. I was tempted to come out when I have enough batteries and camp out here one night. Um, probably, probably just sleep in a van in the parking lot. Um, you know, no one's going to say anything about that. Hopefully not, anyway. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. But um, I was going to come out here and set an alarm and time how long it takes for the battery to wear out and get another battery um, to replace the footage and get like a all night long video kind of stream thing where I know it'll be quiet in the sense of no people. So one thing I am finding is a lot of people I've talked to at this new job, you know, like I said, I don't want to get too into it, but... Um, a lot of them are saying you can get burnt out <clears throat> pretty quickly. So to do stuff that you enjoy, um, like pure, absolute joy. And yeah, I know a lot of people will be like, yeah, hang out with the family and stuff like that. I love my family. I love my kids. I love my wife more than anything. But there are times <laughs> when doing something that I love around them is pretty much impossible. Anyone who knows me knows that I love film. I, I, I enjoy it. Uh, coming up through high school, I actually worked at a small local television station, TV4, in, uh, in Arizona, in high school and junior high. Junior high? High school? Something like that. Um, it was fun. It was great. I, I really enjoyed it. I miss it. Um, and I kind of got away from it. When I went into the Army, I kind of really stopped filming, in a way. And stop working on my editing skills so that's something you know with the great amount of technology that's come out since the early 2000s um, definitely trying to get trying to get back into it which which is hard because it feels like everybody is doing it um, you know so so the the feeling of it being special uh, for some people it's all about just that and for me it's more about the art form of it like, yeah, my, my, my videos aren't, like, movies and things like that. You know, I'm not, you know, it's not, like, editor's cut kind of thing. Um, but it's things that make me happy, I guess. Another reason why I like coming out here is because I don't know if you can. It's kind of, it's really actually kind of hard to tell. But if I put the camera down, the phone down here, you can't see where we're going. It's, it actually gains an elevation quite a bit. And from where the camera is over there, it is about 20 to 20-ish feet in elevation change compared to where the bridge is over there is about another 50 feet in elevation change. So it actually, you gotta, you gotta climb. <laughs> and so it is uh, definitely a workout. So yeah, I hope you guys will definitely comment please even if this kind of um, video wouldn't interest you um, just let me know just say something just hit the thumbs up it doesn't take much um, or if it does or you think you want to learn more about the area definitely hit me up um, you know I'm more than willing to show people around the area we absolutely love it here I don't think we're gonna move anytime soon I I get the itch every couple years where I want to move change jobs leave the area um, but we've been here for a while, but we're really loving it. I love this area. Um, and just, it's just amazing. It really is. It is hard sometimes to live out here compared to in the desert. And the desert has its own difficulties too. But not living in the place where you grew up is always challenging. Because um, you step away from the things that you know, that you grew up with. Um, especially with not having the family here and such. It makes it complicated. Um, you inside of the family here. If you have any questions don't be afraid to reach out um, you can message me on the YouTube channel or on Instagram Facebook whichever and yeah